every day over 290 billion emails get sent across the world. But why is this a problem? Emails create a carbon footprint, which means pointless emails create an unnecessarily large carbon footprint. A study by energy company OVO estimates that if each adult in Britain sent one less redundant email each day, over 16,000 tonnes of carbon emissions would be saved each year. That's the same as 81,000 flights from London to Madrid. The huge data centres that handle email traffic require a massive amount of water in order to cool their servers, as well as a vast quantity of energy to power them. US data centres used 660 billion gallons of water in 2020 just to generate electricity. The data centres, which are often located in rural environments, buy drinkable cooling water from nearby utility companies. This often leads to utility companies raising their prices, which places economic stress on the local population and adds to the global misuse of drinkable water, which is one of the biggest global issues right now. One Google data center has sidestepped this problem by using grey water, which is undrinkable wasted water from houses and rivers, to cool their data centers. Whilst this is an effective way to reduce their water waste and carbon footprint, the energy they supply to their servers is not without a cost to the environment. They do not use 100% green energy. So how large is this problem? It's estimated that the average office worker receives 121 emails per day, which leads to 0.6 tonnes of carbon dioxide released over the course of the year. To put this into perspective, the carbon footprint of the average person living in India is only one and a half tonnes of CO2, which is less than the amount of CO2 released due to the emails alone of less than three office workers. Now I know what you must be thinking. What can I do to help? Well. Firstly, when sending emails, check them carefully and make sure any information is listed to reduce the need for any follow-up emails. You can reduce the size of your emails by compressing large images and lowering the resolution. And rather than adding lots of attachments, which take up loads of space, send links to files or information online instead. And then finally, regularly clean and maintain your mailing list.